Uh, welcome back to Star Wars Battlefront. I thought I, I totally forgot to put this in my quick review, but we'll do this for footage on uh, Drop Zone. Um, this, so this is what happens now. So you click this, and it's searching for match, and then it searches here. You join this, and then you're good to go. The main problem I have with this is the, um, the pings. People care about pings on PC. That's a big thing people care about. A lot of people will be upset if you anything above 70 ping. And so far there is no indication of that. That's really fucking scary. It's really scary. Skip this. Uh, and then start. So it looks like the start games have started and there's... It put me in a game of uh, 3v5, so... Interesting. So it doesn't put you in games already inactive. Okay. We gotta claim that pod there. Okay, so the, uh... Oh, okay, so you can't switch between first and third. Interesting. That's... Or is it a hold? Oh, oh god, it is a hold! Wow, fuck. It's a hold, and then, um... That's interesting. You wanna be in third person, you can see fucking around walls. So why would you ever be in third person? Ha! In first person. Like, seriously. Whoa, whoa! Damn it. Looks like it's filling out. Okay. Again, no, no pings. A very huge step in the ro in, in in a weird direction for dice, who have been huge PC com guys. You know, Battle Hardline came out, or Battlefield Hardline came out. You know, not the didn't get rave reviews, but it like it was a uh, you know everybody under there's stuff. Okay, so this seems to be a uh, control a King of the Hill type of thing, I guess. Okay, this is a King of the Hill. Interesting. So cap points. Do I stand next to it? Fuck, I don't know. Even on low settings, this game looks gorgeous. A lot of good, great lighting. Uh, from what I've read, heard is the, uh, the... The consoles are very similar to high. health regen at the bottom. Oh, Jesus! Hello! Huh. Uh, so, so we got that, okay. So maybe whoever caps the most pods after 10 minutes, I guess? So we are capping a point. Okay, so... No, no change in reticule when uh, crouching. That's no indication of where the point is where you stand. It's just so weird! Like, th like, this would be okay if this game came out, like, fucking a couple years ago. Shit. Ah, damn it. Got flanked. Coming around with the shooting and all that stuff feels a little bit better, but it's just, like, second time around, understanding what's going on. I'm liking a lot of stuff. Our tracking beacon has revealed the location of another escape pod. Claim it. 
You know, some of the abilities are cool, like jetpacking. That sounds pretty cool. Like those guys jumping around, that sounds really cool. You know, after, you know, um, Call of Duty and Titanfall, it's really nice that they're bringing momentum into first person shooters. Damn it. It just feels bland. I'm not f having... I'm not getting it. I'm not... You know, though Call of Duty, same, kind of like the same shit, different day type of thing, but it's still like a pretty good shooter at its core. What the fuck is this? Pick this up. Guess not. Um, you know, Destiny, though I, I have my beliefs, it's still a good shooter. Uh, Battlefield, still a good shooter. Uh, Titanfall, still a good shooter. This just seems like a decent shooter and then like Star Wars. So... I don't know, like, it's such a departure from, uh, from DICE. Guns, like, like the guns are interesting because their Lucas made them in the 70s, so they look like science fiction 70s guns. And so, is this weird? I don't know. They don't look that futuristic, like compared to like a, if Star Wars came out today, you know, it would be like it would seem more realistic, or not realistic, but like it seemed more like sci-fi, you know out of the realm of, uh, possibility. But this just, I don't know, just... Oh. That's some weird thing right there. Seems like my, uh, field of view is ca ca capping out, or, uh, popping out. Again, this is the DICE engine, so... Yeah, or the, not the DICE, the Frostbite engine. I don't know, this doesn't really seem that fun, you know, fucking 7-on-7. Seven seven. This map's really big, too, for 7-on-7. Seven seven. I don't know what these are. Okay. Oh, thermal. I don't know what that matters. Dude, like, what the fuck? Like, there's so little fucking feedback. Like, how do you know where the fucking stand? Oh, god damn. It's like... It gets king of a hill, but, like, where the fuck do you stand? I don't know. Sounds sound fine and a lot of stuff, but it's just like doesn't feel like a battle dice game. Just so fucking little feedback. So fucking little feedback. Did you spawn randomly in areas? People that made fucking battlefield made this game. Like, what the fuck? Oh, hello. The fuck? So it's first to five, I guess? Interesting. 
So that's some some game t game footage on um whatever this fucking thing is. I don't know. Maybe it's going to be better on um those activated pods. Are you pressing something? I don't know. Whatever. On consoles, it just I don't know. Like it seems like a decent PC port. Um, can't skip this, but it's just like an overall presentation. It's like. No ping, uh, no very little map awareness. These maps are not interesting. Scary amount of lack of content. I'm scared about that. You know, at the end of the day, Battlefield Call of Duty Destiny, you know. The hell did I just press? Okay, I just quit that. What was that? They all have like a single player campaign that you can just play. You know, Tenfold, though you can play some sort of story arc. There's always something to do there. There's just like. I don't want to play Drop Zone. That was kind of boring. Walker Assault seemed decent, but it was super, super um, confusing. And just like the map awareness on these maps are just like, where do I go? Where do I go? Like, you know, Destiny has radar, but the maps are like really small. Halo has radar, but again, the maps are really, they feel like really, the flow seems good. The flow seems like, maps you know it's diverting people in the proper uh channels this is weird like it's just, map making is really hard and it's really hard to make maps and it's really hard to make maps for for games you know understanding point where the points are being understanding like are, are those people that are protecting a point is their defense is there like are they able to defend that point is there cover and all that stuff that's a major thing and so when you have these game what like Freaking drop zone, you go in there, like, where the hell do I stand to cap this thing? Is there anybody else around here? I don't fucking know. Uh, map awareness doesn't, there seems to be no map awareness, so that whole map was just practically like a lava field, so you, everything looked the same. So, like, the only point of reference there in the landmark was the actual, uh, um, transport ship in the middle, so understanding where you are in the map is really hard. I felt the same thing with, with the Hoth math. The Hoth map, the, the the Walker Assault. Like, where the fuck am I? Okay, now I just spawned randomly in the uh, in the tunnels. Like, how the fuck do you get in here? So it, it's it. They need a they need a mini map. They need a lot of things. They need understanding. Like, okay, this is where you cap the thing and all that stuff. So it's um. I don't know. This this video is probably gonna get flagged for fucking copyright because of the music, but I can't do anything about that. Um, you know, it's. Some of this stuff is cool. They got rid of the battle log, which I didn't like. You know, not having a server browser is pretty shitty. You know, I can hit back, maybe join another one. Does this do anything? So that's Grek Dark Elf. Okay. What is this? Is this another one? Yeah, so this is another one. Interesting. Oh, it would start when I... Interesting. Yeah, so it's a completely different game. Interesting. Wow, okay. But that's it for um, Battlefront. Uh, I might do another video on the Walker Assault. I don't know. I really don't know. Um, th again, this scares me a lot. These, you know, five other maps scare me a lot. You know, there's tons of maps in Battlefield 4 Vanilla. There's tons of maps in kind of, uh, Call of Duty coming out. There's tons of, uh, not really Destiny, but that's a different caliber, but there's there's a sense of content in those games you know they also have a single player uh, you know it could be like four hours or or up to like 12 hours and all that stuff oh halo there's a sense of content there this seems really scary so we'll we'll see how this goes the game launches next month i'll play a few more rounds you know I'll try to do some footage on the ps4 or xbox one they will probably be the same um but as always, thanks for watching. You guys have a wonderful day. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Bye.